So the writing process for me was horribly uncomfortable. I don't consider myself a writer. Um, even having the title as a author just sounds weird to me. I just don't consider myself as a, a very good uh, literary writer. But someone told me a while ago, you know, talk, write as you talk. And people would, will buy into your voice, they'll buy into your perspective, and so on and so forth. So I took that advice. And what you read in School of Grit is, that's me. That's how I talk. That's how I act. Uh, I'm not faking the funk. But writing for me, the process of it was just horribly uncomfortable. It, it was blood, sweat, and tears. It's, it's a huge project. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life. I'd put it right up there with Kokoro Camp and some of the other crazy crucibles that I've done in my life. But at the end of the day, you know, if it's something that you want to do, then buckle down and make a plan and, and, and do it. It's really that simple. And how I wrote a book was, it wasn't rocket science. I woke up early. I put my butt in a chair in my kitchen and I wrote for an hour, sometimes two hours, completely undisturbed. And it was an on again, off again relationships. It was a, it was a passion project. I'd have weeks where I'd get, you know, thousands of words written and then I'd have weeks where I just had writer's block or I just didn't want to do it anymore, just like any other big goal. But if you have a powerful why and you know why you want to do it and that's backed by discipline. Because motivation comes and goes, right? I mean, you can be motivated to do it one day and not motivated to do it the next, but you got to be disciplined. So put the discipline in place and just get it done. I like to say that, you know, sometimes I, I am a firm believer that some of the best books ever written are still in somebody's nightstand. They're waiting to be shared with the world. So that was my experience with the writing process.